of the most eye-catching features within the grounds at Waterston Manor is this magnificent aviary. It was built for Ferdinand de Rothschild in 1889 to coincide with the visit of the Shah of Persia that year. The origins of the buildings are a bit unclear. We've got archival records that show huge payments to a local builder, but this structure might have originated in France. It's definitely reminiscent of the French pavilions of the mid-18th century that you find in Versailles and Chantilly. Now, the keeping of birds and animals in general was very much of that time. This was the time of the Victorian Empire. Exotic plants and animals were coming in from all corners of the world, imported to England. Baron Ferdinand de Rothschild was of course one of a very large family of Rothschilds scattered all over Europe, a family of bankers. And collecting animals was very much in the blood of the Rothschilds. Ferdinand had grown up with exotic animals in his childhood home and there's no doubt that when he built Waddesdon he had in mind to build his own zoo and aviary as well. Baron Ferdinand took a great personal interest in the care of his birds and it's said that whenever he was at Waddesdon, come rain or shine, he'd go out himself to feed the birds. Now this building restored to its original late 19th century splendor, actually houses a very modern, up-to-date, very important collection of birds. It's first thing in the morning. I've just put some fruit together uh, and I'm coming into the aviary here. I'm just gonna be feeding each of the birds. Uh, and I've got a variety of food here. I've got some salad and some seed for the pheasants and the doves. Uh, and then I've got the fruit here, which is uh, uh, a mixture of uh, apples, mangoes, kiwis, papayas, uh, uh, and that's for the more fruit-eating species. And then we've got some more insects and bits and pieces for the starlings, and you can see the birds are already getting very, very excited. It's definitely a seven-day week for us, so we will work, we work weekends, we work through uh, Christmas holidays. We generally are pretty busy a lot of the year, and particularly obviously in the summer when, when the birds are breeding. So starting at six in the morning and then finishing feeding sort of 10 or 11 at night. So it's definitely a full day uh, when we're ham rearing particularly. The birds here are mainly from Southeast Asia uh, and we try to prioritise working with birds of uh, conservation concern. Uh, certainly in this aviary we've got uh, a couple of species, the Sumatran larking thrushes which are vulnerable species and the Rothschild's miners which are critically endangered in the wild. The Rothschild minor bird, or the Bali starling, is a very famous bird. It was discovered in Bali and named after Walter Rothschild, who lived nearby at Tring. It's a very beautiful white bird with a lovely blue mask. We created it as a mascot for Waddesdon. She's called Mimi. Here she is. Mimi the miner is related to Bali because the Rothschild miner originally comes from Bali. So we work with the Begawan Foundation um, to educate people in Bali about the importance of this critically endangered bird and our school groups um, are in the process of linking up with schools in Bali to spread this important conservation message. Some of our birds were sent to the Begawan Foundation some years ago. Those birds have bred at the Begawan Foundation and their young have been uh, uh, reintroduced to the, to the surrounding area. Uh, and the hope is that many of the species we have here will one day be in a, a, a position that we could actually send them back to, uh, once all their threats are removed, back, back into the, the wild.